The reason I'm making this video is because I want to know if this is the oldest PC in the world or oldest water-cooled PC in the world. I built this back in 2007 and when I built it I did have some issues because what we're calling was quite new. EVGA was bringing out a motherboard that was going to be water-cooled, which is in there. Also, they had graphics cards that are water-cooled as well, which are... SLI down there, so I bought two of them, and I linked them all up. It has two full-size radiators in there. It has a water pump that comes out of a pond because that gives you the best results. Trust me, it really does. And the pipes are from American design because in England, when uh, we started making water-cooled PCs, they used 10 mil pipe, and the actual diameter on the inside was more like seven or eight mil. So it's quite small. And I thought, no, I want more flow. So I went for these ones, which are what, half inch, something like that? Can't remember now. And it is absolutely filthy at the moment. So what I want to know is, let me know in the comments, if this is the oldest working, and we're going to try it out in a minute, personal water cooled PC in the world. Because I can't find nothing to say who's got the oldest one. And it could be me. Be interesting to find out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug in this hard drive which has Windows operating system on it I'm not sure which one and I'm going to turn it on now it might catch fire <laughs> And the reason for that is because there's a hell of a lot of dust in there Hopefully it won't So uh, with that let's give her a try shall we? For safety reasons, I've turned off my computer just in case it trips out or anything and doesn't damage anything else. Also, they are on the surge protector anyway, but just for my peace of mind, I've turned them off. Also, I'm using this monitor as well instead of one of them. Again, for safety reasons. So if it damages anything, I won't... Well, if it damages the computer, I'm not that worried. If it damages the monitor, I'm not that worried because it's just a backup monitor. So... Let's give her a go, shall we? Fingers crossed. Power on. Power. Got my water reservoir, do you? Yeah? Power on here. And nothing. Oh, no, there she goes. Fan started up. Turn off for a second. The next morning. Unfortunately, it's starting up, but it's not producing a signal. So the monitor's coming up and saying, oh, I'm getting no signal. So I don't know if it's this, which I don't think it is. I'm gonna order a new one of these. I think it's probably either the graphics cards have failed, because I tried it in all four, or it's just purely for the amount of muck that's actually on the graphics card that's stopping it running somehow. So what I've done, I've ordered myself a new air gun, because I've never had an air gun before, and I thought, well, that'd be handy to have. And I did look at a load of different reviews, and it's very difficult to choose which one to get. So hopefully I've ordered the right one. This has got three different speeds on it, so it should be okay. It's not one that comes with a big pump motor, it's just one of them little handheld ones where you charge it up first and then you can blast away for so many minutes, which should be just fine. Just what I need, I think, fingers crossed. Also comes with loads of attachments. That's coming today. So what I'm gonna do is make a second video, doing an unboxing of the air gun and giving this a good clean out and also trying to start this up. Hopefully it will. So with that, if you keep watching the video, I'm gonna show you a couple of old pictures like this little baby here, of my unit, this, of when it was in top knock condition. All right, the pipe work looks a bit messy. Yes, I understand, but it was my first ever computer build on water cooled, ever. I've never done one since. Perhaps I should do another one. Let me know in the comments what you think. So with that, let me know whether you like this video or not by giving me a thumbs up. And if you didn't, give me a thumbs down and please subscribe. It doesn't cost you any money whatsoever, but it does help this channel keep on growing. Thank you very much for watching. We tried, we failed. <laughs>